All right, guys, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna be doing some straight bodybuilding, and we are late as usual because that's kind of how Christy runs. She's snacking on some food right now, last minute. We're gonna be headed out the door doing some strictly upper body today. And we're gonna take you guys along for that. I'll show you guys what we're doing. You coming? Milo is not coming. Milo! <laughs> uh oh. Milo, you can't do any bodybuilding. Come on, bud. Back inside, bud. Let's Milo, go. Come. He wants to come, but he can't. I don't think they let dogs in the gym. Hey guys, so we are headed downtown to a different gym. We're gonna get outside of our regular stimulus and do a little bit of strict accessory work. I've been showing you guys some of it, but we're gonna head to a gym specifically for that. So I'm super excited to do something different. It kind of brings me back to my West Side days. Um, see if I can get in the car holding this thing. So back to my West Side days where I would get out of my normal routine and go to a different gym. So Pat's helping me out. We are in, we are off. I don't have my watch, but I know we're late. We'll see you at the gym. Hey guys, so we are back at this gym. I told you we were going to a new gym, a different one, just to change up the stimulus because I've been, we're three weeks out from the CrossFit Games now and I just needed a little bit, some, something a little bit different. And I think you guys can probably relate to that too is sometimes the same routine gets tiring. So I knew I had accessory. I wanted to do some bodybuilding. I've been reading all of the comments about how you guys are loving the bodybuilding stuff. I'm loving it too. And then I saw, just through friends of friends of friends, I came across Dana Lynn Bailey's page and I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna do some of her stuff. That looks awesome. So I wanna take you guys along with that today. It's just gonna be a spontan spontaneous upper body day in this sweet spot, doing fitness because I love it and also still working on some strict bodybuilding and strength work that will transfer over into my training for the games. So I can't wait to get started and take you guys with me. All right guys, so today is different like I keep telling you. I'm actually pretty excited about it. So. I lost my band. Um, normally when I warm up, you guys will see in my program or sometimes we show it on our videos that we're hopping on a rower, we're getting really sweaty, we're driving our heart rate super high. Today I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be focusing more on opening up muscle groups. So I'm gonna hit a chest, some bicep stuff. So I just wanna make sure that these muscle groups are warm and ready to go and it's less about the intensity and my heart rate of getting into those zones. Today's session will be a little bit more chilled. So I'm just gonna start with a bicep stretch. I don't know about you guys, but especially in CrossFit, I like to focus on opening up my biceps and when I'm gonna be using them. So what I'm doing is I'm just turning my thumb down, kind of pulling my shoulder back, and then I'm just gently rotating my chest away. And that feels really, really nice. Especially if your bicep's tight, you will feel this. You don't want it to hurt. Remember, we never want anything to hurt. We just want it to feel really good. Like it's doing the job of opening up our shoulders and our biceps. Today is gonna to be filled with a little bit of different movements that we haven't done. I keep using the word different, I need to use a different word. But we're gonna use, they have every variation of a dumbbell here, so lots and lots of different dumbbells. I know we have dumbbells at Polaris, but this is gonna be, you'll see in the video, there's a leg press machine here. I'm super excited about that. I used to use that before my CrossFit days. I haven't touched one since, so we'll hop on the leg press. Uh, and then a cable machine. I know we built one in our garage, so I'm still gonna open up my lats. Um, we built a cable machine in our garage, but this one's gonna be like a real cable machine. So we can do the different variations of it. Uh, we get creative with ours, but I'm excited to hop on this one today. So just one mistake. Some bicep curls and then also some dumbbell 
front raises with some back. So I was rowing in a different plane. I do a lot of barbell rowing, uh, but this, with using this machine, allowed me to target different muscle groups of my back. So my upper body is smoked, and I enjoyed every single second of it. Pat had to remind me when we started that it's not for time, making sure I take rest, because we're so used to CrossFit workouts where I'm trying to get as much in as I can, but breathing, focusing on the quality, and really focusing on isolating whatever muscle group is that I was working. So that's what we did, and I loved every second of it. Total blast. So it's good to switch up your fitness routine. That's the moral of the story. But what we are going to end with, because my upper body is smoked, um, we're going to hop on the leg press machine. I haven't used one in quite a few years. I'm super excited. The, the big thing with the leg press is where you put your feet. So if you put your feet closer to the bottom, it's going to be more hamstring, a little bit more glute posterior. If you move your feet towards the top, which I'll show you once I hop on, it's going to be a little bit more quad driven. So a little bit more of the anterior muscle groups. I'm going to try to hit 100 at my body weight for time in as little as sets as possible to end the day and get a nice good quad and posterior hamstring pump, I guess. Other than that, it's been a really good day and I just feel refreshed. It's just great to change up the stimulus. So I think if your fitness is kind of getting to the point where you feel like it needs changed, definitely just seek out something new and refresh yourself because it feels good. I am on the leg press machine. This one's new to me because one, I told you I haven't done it for years, which I haven't, but also this one is separate. So it's gonna really highlight any imbalances. So when I say separate, each leg has its own thing. So if I push harder with my right leg than I'm pushing with my left, then I'm gonna be uneven. So that's really forcing me to focus on driving evenly and also retract evenly to keep my weight balanced, which is something that I don't ever feel when I squat uh, or I don't notice when I squat because we're pushing through the floor, but we may have a hip shift, which would be pushing harder through one leg. So this is gonna really highlight that imbalance if I have one. And it's been challenging warming up, but I'm gonna give it a go and see if I can get to 100 at, I'm just a little bit over my body weight right now, but trying to keep everything even, trying to keep my feet towards the bottom. So I'm highlighting posterior, which is hamstring and glute, which is what I wanna be using. doing four sets of 25 and my butt my quads are on fire uh, I have a whole new appreciation for bodybuilding it's definitely no joke and it just burns in a whole different way this was harder for me than anything that I think I've done in the CrossFit gym recently so it was a really good day it was what I wanted I still challenge myself mentally and I challenge myself physically I'm refreshed and rejuvenated and I loved it uh, make sure you guys check out all of our links in the description if you like this video or you have questions on what I did, make sure you drop a comment below. Or if you want to see more videos like this, as I sw switch into off season, I'll definitely be doing a lot more bodybuilding. Woo, my butt's on fire. Um, I'm doing a lot more bodybuilding. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you drop the comment below. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this different style of the video and I hope you guys have a great day. Have a good one.